Hello guys, this is Snakestar95, and we are going to be playing the Flash game Battalion Commander 2 on Congregate. It is created by iResoft, hopefully I'm saying that right, and it has armor games also on the screen, so I'm going to assume maybe they had some involvement, I don't know if they published, or just the fact that it's on that site as well. So, I do believe I played the first one a long time ago. I haven't played this one yet, so I'm not entirely sure if it's the same game I'm thinking of. It probably is, but let's hop in and find out, because, like I said, I don't know. Okay, we're in the tactics room. Actually, let me write something real quick. Um, okay, tactics room. Leader. Let me tilt my head. Click con to switch. Con. Click on me? No, click on. I, I, I don't know. I can't change anything. Oh, click these. Phone switch. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say click on instead of con. But anyway, we're in the beginning, so. Current missions. Click to list all missions. These missions. Launch adrenaline. Blah, blah, blah. Probably stuff. Basically, quests that give us bonuses for doing what we're already doing. That's what it sounds like. Let's hop in. We'll do the normal match. Alright, yes, it is what I'm thinking of. We will uh, wander back and forth, shoot some dudes. I, I don't know why we're shooting, but we are. I mean, they're shooting at us, so why wouldn't we want to shoot them? We got some uh, sniper over there. See, clicking doesn't do anything. I read in the comments there was something about backstabbing. I, I don't know about it. I'm curious what this deal is. What's up with that? Those dudes all spawning back there behind me. Interesting. We do have a second guy though, so we're, we're doing alright. We're probably gonna die real soon. So I, I'm not liking that. There's a little too much going on there. Pretty sure I killed it like almost nobody there. Where's my help? Alright, top left. We will get this guy. Man, that once I just threw that huge group from me, I was that was done. What does that even do? Adrenaline. We'll, click, we'll press it once we get near a bunch of people, alright. Slow motion, maybe health, uh, looks like we anything we do, no. I'm gonna say extra damage, but I don't think so. Mainly slow motion. Ah, oh, man. I should probably save those explosives, but it doesn't look... Ah, uh, maybe it would've been useful, I don't know. Me dodging these punks like I don't even care. Oh shoot, didn't anticipate those ones coming over there. I want to see what's in that crate. Alright, money. The worst thing I remember from the first one is going over the barrels by accident and then automatically just shooting and hitting them. That, my friend, is the worst. What is this over here? I think it says 200. Oh, for running 200. That's the quests zone area. Ah, shoot. I made myself killed. I tried to that! I want to hit those explosives, because those can hurt. Alright. Or not hurt the snipers. I was kind of intending to hurt the sniper dude. Eh, they're not snipers, but those dudes over there as well. I am going to die before I kill this boss. Yeah. I, I couldn't do anything there. I, I'm curious how close I was to actually killing the helicopter, though. Okay, we got ourselves some statistics here. Nothing crazy. We did... We did complete a mission. We've still got 47 more to go. And let's let's jump into some upgrades. What can we get? Logistics, more money, magnets, grenadier, another dude I can get, and double SMGs. Gonna go with double SMGs. And what is that? Does it? I think it just gives me 100% more to the radius of the money and XP, as opposed to more money and then an XP radius. But we'll go with a new weapon. Okay, it automatically equipped it, that's good. Why is it still telling me I can go back? Like, I know, man. I just choose not to buy it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be more efficient than just getting a Grenadier. Granted, I'm sure it's plenty better than the, uh, uh, than the rifleman? Yes. Boom. Yeah, that was an accident. 
Advancement. It's like impossible to break those things. Ah, did not see that one yet. That was a nice little surprise. I gotta figure out what that backstab thing is that I was talking about. Maybe it's a specific thing, I don't know. Looks like I got adrenaline, so that's gonna flash real bright until I use it. But we'll save it up until we get like an onslaught of enemies like we did earlier. Don't blow up the guy. Okay, it didn't blow him up. Just open that area. Sweet. We're again. All right, we're using it. There we go. See how useful those Uzis are? You know when I actually hit enemies? That looks like right here. Ah, uh, I lost the guy. Oh, how am I how am I supposed to predict? Oh, that was stupid. The rack just ran into that. But how am I supposed to predict the radius of the explos explosives explosives? Yes, the explosives. That's, that's definitely what I meant. Empty. We can get a perk now. Interesting. Military boots. Uh, I don't need to buy them, so why not? We now run faster, which doesn't actually sound that useful, but I guess we'll have to do it anyway. All right, we might as well buy everything here because we can't really do anything else yet. So until we get enough experience to reach the next level. The good thing about this sort of game is you can keep redoing the level despite how far you actually make it, you know, get money, and then, uh, and experience, and just keep furthering yourself with the upgrades. Like any upgrade game works, as I've said in any other upgrade games I've played as well. It's the worst when you're playing a game with upgrades and they don't let you, like, replay the level or, you know, go back and try to get experience, because then you're just screwed. sit there and try playing it like 30 times and get no progress. Make no progress. Okay, it looks like, yep, adrenaline. I want to blow those explosives up. And, but there's a sniper there. I was debating it because I didn't see anyone actually there. No idea. I gotta, like, do my timing better. I'm never getting the right opportunity to get this guy with the yellow beanie hat or whatever on. Oh my god. I kinda want that rifleman. Was it worth it? No. Not one bit. I'm not liking this. Okay, looks like I have some money achievement I'm going for, apparently. I'm not gonna... I, I'm assuming it's like 500, but I don't know. You can see I have 470 on the uh, right. That's ah, more than 500. Oh, that's a dude with the flamethrower. It's two dudes with the flamethrower. If I can keep making the helicopter just go right into my area. Let's try, yeah, let's try and keep dealing with these dudes so we don't have a problem. Dudes, shoot from... Alright, we got the Grenadier. Forgot we actually did grab the... Get some of them or not. I'm not gonna kill the helicopter still. Oh, I did. Good job, Grenadier. Show them who's boss. Let's shoot some more grenades. Grenadiers, just because of the grenade, grenade, because of the grenades they have on them, they just look like they're kamikazes, guys. That's all I'm seeing. I am gonna die. Yep, called it. Whether it was that those two grenades or a five, like a couple seconds later, I knew something was gonna happen. Also, 750 gold. I also can, for my other ones, team up with five grenadiers, stab 15 enemy soldiers. Now, how do I stab enemy soldiers? doesn't use skill, click, or space. That's good to know. Um, I still don't know how to stab people. So, uh, 
deserves that. Yeah, I don't know. We just gotta do another run before we can even buy anything new. The Uzi, it's good to try and like run left and right. And uh, try to get as much as you can as one thing. I mean, if you're focusing down one guy and you want to take him down quick, then definitely, you know, do a straight line. But if you want to get like a squad of people, spread it out. Let's see if they'll actually send anyone at me. They're just gonna send like helicopters at me. We don't need anyone, we need to kill anyone, you know. What is up with this? Yep, there's a plane. Not quite a helicopter, but alright, here we are. Stuff like that. Granted, that might not have been the best because I wasn't really towing anyone there. I don't know. I guess they have to be more closer for it to be more efficient. Definitely get rifle get the uh, rifleman or the dude in the trap as quick as possible so you don't have a problem five seconds later when you got dude shooting at you. Snipers are easy to dodge, as you can tell. I mean, their whole trail tells you, but might as well kill them right away if I have the opportunity. We're gonna use adrenaline, because these giant squads of enemies are annoying in my experience. Unfortunately, we just got rid of most of the annoying ones. Except for that yellow beanie dude. I keep saying beanie, because it looks like a hat, but it's really probably M or something. I'm probably gonna keep calling it a beanie, so if that annoys you, I'm sorry. It looks like a beanie. Is it even possible to blow that up? Screw you guys. Fortunately, those things almost spawn every time at the bottom of the level. So it makes completely no sense. Alright, my best is 456 meters. It's a little white bar on the right if you look at the uh, meters. Come on, adrenaline! Adrenaline! Alright, now we're good. I'm almost dead, but my dudes are fine. Got another rifle. We do have adrenaline now, so we're gonna be wanting to use that shortly. Collect 750 gold. Great. I could definitely go for a uh, better weapon right about now. I won't just deny that. What are we coming up on? Some sort of watchtower here? I don't know what that dude's deal is. He right, just blew up, so. Whatever. Alright, I, I don't know. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try and run past them and lose all my guys. I'm going down. Oh I'm pretty sure they just dropped the uh, spawner thing on me. That's that's nice. Thanks. As far as I can tell, we're also when we level up, we also do get more health, and allow it allows for more teammates, members, I don't mean, members, yes. That one. What does it do? Makes enemies and enemy bullets go slower, as we saw. Alright, so we can get a Napalm Wave skill. Um, new ally, which is not the rifleman, that's what's on an automatic rifleman. Or start with one rifleman squad. I'm gonna go with that. How much money? 25 more, and we can get an automatic. I think we'll go with automatic rifleman, and then we'll go from there. So the adrenaline skill—it's pretty good, I would say. It definitely saves me and lets me live longer, I would say. I'm kind of disappointed. It's not another weapon, though. Help me level up quicker. Oh, how did I really miss that sniper? I'm disappointed in myself. It is impossible to break those things. Why did he just get hurt? Maybe touching that hurts, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have been bothered. I really wanted to kill those though. I guess it, as I was mentioning earlier, it's good to get the rifleman right away, but I guess it could also be bad, because then you can also lose him right away. So, I mean, I guess it depends on how good you are, if you trust yourself or not. I mean, you get him early, then you get his bullets and stuff, but you get him early, then he could die from the current wave, or whatever you want to say. River's coming. Let's pull it up so it doesn't blow me up in a second by accident. Slow motion. Got rid of 
the yellow dudes. Still what looks like tons of annoying grenadiers, and I am correct. Come on! Uh, ooh, we got it. Does it mean anything? No. Didn't even give us anything. I thought that was gonna be like, oh my god, you're awesome. You got the, you know, the mothership in Space Invaders. Nope. No bonus. Nothing crazy. I didn't get experience, I don't think. That's a lot of bombs. That's a lot of bombs indeed. Well, this guy's go down easier than I thought. That was that was a uh, unintentional win. Oh my god! I did not want to have to use that, but I obviously did have to. Man, that was that was useful dodging right around that grenade. Still gotta figure out what the deal with stabbing. I don't want to just run into a dude when I'm almost about to do my score. So there's that. There's nothing from that. They better give me, like, experience for killing people, as opposed to just being like, Hey, you killed that structure person, and it didn't drop anything, so you don't get anything. Because I would not like that. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna die in a second right now. Let me beat my best, because I'm totally not going to. I still don't know what the deal is with that watchtower. But, yeah, but there's an explody dude. And I just got adrenaline. Thanks for that. Alright, I will definitely level up next time around. Should we get... What should we get? Equipped rifleman with automatic... Oh, so it gives them automatic rifles. They don't just, you know... They don't, it's not like another dude I have to find. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so now they are like the yellow peony dudes. If you will. Give me that experience. Give me the cash. Give me the cash. Ah, they even changed the name. Makes sense. Who thinks we can beat our uh, best run so far? Uh, 484 meters, which is not bad great, considering. Well, uh, I guess my upgrades and whatnot, I guess it makes sense. No, oh, I'm worried about that explosive, so I'm gonna dodge and stuff as much as possible. I don't want to have to use my adrenaline until I really need to. Well, uh, wow, we're actually getting a good squad going. I think this is the most I've had so far. We've got a total of five here. That guy, that enemy was useless. Good. I got stuck. Man, I'm surprised. I'm actually, my guys are doing pretty well on health. I had to push it. Once I realized, like, oh no, there's this huge wave, I just got screwed up. I want to shoot those guys, but you know the worst thing with the Grenadiers is you're in slow motion. They're not firing. You go over them, they kill them. Next thing you know, they he use the grenade, uh, grenade and... In slow motion, it hits you, and you explode, and your whole team dies. That would not be good, because I would anticipate something like that happened. That is why I didn't risk it. There are a lot of enemies here, and I don't like it very much. The fact that my guys aren't, like, all dead right now, I will say, is kind of surprising. The fact that stupid watchtower's not blowing up is also annoying. And, uh, now all my dudes are dying. I apparently got some sort of help, so there is that. Come on, let me blow this up. Let me blow it up. There we go. Kill 100 enemies. Alright, that is the back of the staff. I guess you just have to run over them. Something like that. I don't know. Run over them really fast. This tank is going down. There we go. Oh my god, that was not worth it. That's what I get for running over them to try and backstab everyone. Death. Complete, utter death. Totally 
probably not worth it. At least I beat my uh, best score by like probably 20 meters. Ah, eh, not too many. Just barely. I just have to spend like all my time do dodging. That's why I went for the backstab, because I thought, why not? I have no health, I should probably backstab an enemy. Nothing could go wrong at all. Splinter shells, explosives produce splinters. Sounds pretty effective. Sounds like they'll probably just burst out. Well, I, I, I don't know. That's good, actually. That could be bad for my guys. Probably not, but it could be. We can get a marksman. Start with a grenadier, or get a shotgun. I'm gonna go with the shotgun, even though I probably should have got, got with the grenadier, so I can just have this awesome squad when I start. Let's see what all the end goals here are. End perks. Drilling. All the allies get 50% fire rate boost. Air support. Allied battle helicopter comes to support your squad. Weapon. A missile launcher. The leader launches one rocket and two homing missiles. Pretty awesome. Gonna be honest, I kinda want a heavy minigun. These are the things you have to look forward to when you start doing uh, progressively better. Well, as it is a little into the video, I'm gonna stop doing runs. As you can see, this is Battalion Commander 2, developed by Eresoft. Um, can't change your leader, can change your skills. Unfortunately, I don't have any other skills. You saw the upgrade screen, you know you can get stuff like... What is there? Napalm strike, air strike, and those are the only skills, I think. I think there's one other, one other skill. Oh, air support, there we are. And plenty of other upgrades. Uh, just like any other upgrade, it focuses on grinding as much as possible, getting as far as you can, upgrading to keep getting further. You know the drill. Just another innovative way of doing it. And that is the sequel to Battalion Commander, Battalion Commander 2. So, uh, as always, though, this is Snakes95, checking out.